In thinking about the review, how Wales approaches 4.0, the next technological revolution, that is going to define the quality of work and the extent to which we can create the kinds of society that we all want to create. So there's been a lot of discussion uh, about this idea of a fourth industrial revolution, combining technologies in new sorts of ways around automation, around artificial intelligence, around the internet of things, around additive manufacturing, and that somehow this creates the possibility for a different kind of economy from what we've had in the past. One of the ways we can think about this is, for example, the shift from coal mining to data mining. And data mining isn't just accepting what's already there, but it's about building new capabilities. And I think, for example, Wales could be a, a, a centre for analytics, and why not Wales be a major global centre for data mining? We can also combine this with really leading edge work around compound semiconductors. So what are they? Well, actually, they're the really sophisticated aspects of the chips that are in your mobile phones. And the design of those chips is what's really going to drive the future economy. And in Wales, we have the potential to not only just make the chips, but design the chips of the future. So we've got to think about ways of bringing together what we're currently good at, which we can present not only to the people of Wales, to the UK, but also to the wider world. There's a lot of discussion today about the impact of robots taking our jobs, and it makes for really good headlines. However, there's quite a lot of problems with a lot of the research that underpins it. The reality is that automation is having an impact on work. It's likely to be slower than we have been led to believe, but we do have to plan for it. One of the things that's really important to us is to think, well, how do we use those technologies in ways which allow for social inclusion, to reduce inequality, rather than see the technologies being concentrated in the hands of a few people who will benefit at the expense of everybody else. We really need to now explore what Wales 4.0 really is going to look like. Because the technology is not fate. We can use the technologies in different ways. And what that means is that we have to think as a, as a society, as employers, as employees, about what kind of Wales do we want to create? 